we had Professor Paul Moyna on earlier on, immunovirologist, and he was talking about herd immunity. He says in his view it's going to be extremely difficult to achieve. This is what he, he said on, on News Talk Breakfast this morning. And he also said that he has some concerns about the mass vaccination of children, that, that there is an argument to be had about the risk versus the benefit in the childhood population. What's your view on that? So, um, to, a, to, to, to a large extent, he's correct. I mean, first of all, uh, herd, herd immunity is, is kind of an abstract mathematical concept that thinks about the, a, a population as a homogeneous uh, entity that you can apply mathematics to. And one of the great unknowns about the Delta variant is what, what is its basic reproduction number? How transmissible is it really? And in order to calculate herd immunity threshold, you have to know pretty precisely how transmissible the, the, the virus is. The more transmissible the virus, the more people we have to vaccinate in order to Yes, and, and uh, he, he made that point too. But, yeah. but with regard to the inoculation of children, what's your... your well, that's, that, that's, that's why we have a National Immunisation Advisory Council. Right. And that's why it's independent. You're absolutely right. It, you know, vaccines protect you as an individual and they protect others and they present very, very low risks to you as an individual through taking them. So NIAC, absolutely. I think we need to think about it in the following terms. Uh, we, need, we need to set as a priority, and we're doing really well, get as many people over 16 years of age vaccinated. That offers us huge protection. We then, so, so when you look at 16 to 18 year olds, 12 to 15 year olds, and not to 12 year olds, they behave somewhat differently when it comes to getting and transmitting this virus. And we need to think about those three cohorts. What are the risks to them? the benefits to them and the benefits to all yeah. of us in terms of a so vaccination we, 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 we will, I, I, we so, will await NIAC's position on that and that, that's entirely fair. Can I ask you though, on the front page of the Irish Independent this morning, Professor, foreign travel dealt a danger as 800 cases are recorded, 800 cases identified as being travel related. Considering, I know, I know international travel is back open since the 19th for yeah. non-essential purposes, but considering how low level travel is currently in this country compared to what it would normally be and that is only likely to increase. Are you significantly concerned about international travel at the moment? Do you see that as our Achilles heel? We're, well, we're worried about it in, a, in, in, in three ways. Uh, but the, the primary reason that we're worried right now is that we can see a significant amount of travel in people who are not yet vaccinated. And that's a real risk to them. They could end up severely ill, not many of them, but some of them will end up severely ill, but more worryingly, uh, they, they may infect somebody that they love very much uh, that is vaccinated but is unfortunate enough to get uh, a, a significant or severe infection uh, through this. So, so we're not so much concerned about this fueling the, the, uh, the, the next wave of, of the epidemic. It's not doing that. It's a, it's a relatively minor contributor in the grand scheme of things to the amount of transmissions okay. we're seeing on the island. But it's important. It's important because it's in an unvaccinated population and it presents risk to them and risk to others. So okay. it, it's, 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 it's a reiteration of the advice that high risk activities like indoor socialization and travel were asking unvaccinated people to postpone their plans okay. to do those things so, until they're protected. So that is, is, is the bottom line. Unvaccinated people need to take care currently. Look, thank you very much for all of that this morning. That is Professor Philip Nolan, Chair of Neffet's Irish Epidemiological Modelling Advisory Group.